That is the biggest burger patties I've ever seen in my life. Wow. <laughs> and then a massive plate of french fries. Okay, wow. Well, hey, this will be interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here, and today we're at the Windsor Pub. Windsor Pub in Akron, Ohio, to try their Windsor Pub Burger Challenge. So this is supposed to be a uh, burger which has three three-quarter pound patties, so essentially a total of two and a quarter pounds of beef. You're also supposed to have three-quarter pounds of fries, and you have uh, also provolone, cheese, mushrooms, and onions on the burger. Um, I've heard that this size in this challenge can range quite a bit from like four pounds legit to a lot bigger. So hopefully, uh, hoping for the smaller one right now to be honest with you. But uh, here we are, good friend Ronnie and Mr. George. I don't uh, don't know if they're gonna do any eating, but I'll tell them and see what we can do and let's have some fun. All right, so here we are, massive burger, massive fries. Uh, a lot bigger than I anticipated, but we'll see what happens. Um, so we're gonna have 30 minutes to complete this thing. Uh, time starts when I take my first bite. So let's start at the count of, uh, let's say five, four, three, two, one, let's go. I think it's just soaking for you. Should they try it? You can tell they're shiny. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and today we are at the Windsor Pub in Akron, Ohio to try their Windsor Burger Challenge. So this challenge is supposed to have two and a quarter pounds of beef in three massive patties. So the patties are supposed to be three quarters of a pound each. Then have what is supposed to be three quarters of a pound of fries and then a whack of different provolone cheese, mushrooms, etc, etc. So on the burger, you're not allowed to make any substitutions or etc. That's just kind of all part of it. You get it the way they want it. And apparently this is what a Windsor burger looks like or is dressed, I guess you could say. This might be a close one, I don't know. And I was saying that with honest concern. I was not joking at this point. This is my second challenge of the day and I really was quite full from that. We did these massive burritos prior to this and I this like we literally left the one restaurant went straight to here it was like a 15 minute drive so literally one after the other um, this burger did come out a bit bigger than I was anticipating and like the fries were more than I was anticipating just based off of previous pictures I've seen well more specifically I really only saw Brandon the garbage disposal do this challenge so I was kind of expecting that size I personally think mine at least had more fries maybe it was a little bigger but I will let you be the judge of that um, so the actual taste of the burger itself. There's so much liquid. Really? I don't know about the cheese or where it's from. Ketchup power. This was a challenge I definitely want to use some ketchup for. I mean, the fries tasted obviously like fries. I found them to be kind of a little on the oilier side, so I'm not sure if they just didn't really like, I don't know, shake them off, dry them off a little bit or whatever, but um, the burger itself didn't taste bad actually. I was anticipating a lot worse. There was definitely a lot of cheese, and provolone cheese, if you're not familiar, has a very unique flavor. So definitely did taste like provolone cheese. Hot. There was also mushrooms on the burger, which had quite a distinct taste. I do usually enjoy mushrooms. In this pairing, they were a little different, um, but again, kind of like the mushrooms, the cheese, that was essentially what was on this burger. So if you really like a lot of cheese, kind of like the idea of, I don't know, I'd call it like a matzo burger, but like obviously it's provolone cheese, like that's what this was. Um, but I will expect say, in all reality, I did expect this to taste a lot worse. I did ask for the burgers cooked medium. Um, I think they were a little bit more well done, but I mean overall again, the tasteless challenge was surprisingly good considering what I was anticipating. How's the burger? Greasy? It smells greasy. Yeah. Like your eyes were soaking grease too. Look at that paper. 
Yeah, the fries are shiny. Dude, it smells like meatballs. Meatballs? Yeah. So it's the combination of the burger, the ketchup, the onions. They basically eat meatballs. So Ronnie thought it smelled like meatloaf, and like I can kind of relate, again, like fried onions, mushrooms, which I mean, it's not generally meatloaf, but that and the cheese, and then kind of just this interesting, really thick beef patties. Although one thing was for sure, it definitely was greasy. I like how they advertise their fresh and crisp salads. Where the difficulty I was having with this challenge was, is I was just really full. And although, again, the flavor of this, which actually wasn't bad, definitely helped and assisted it, but eating something you don't really enjoy when you're really full is definitely difficult. Fresh and crisp with a deep fry. I wish. I'll jump in. We should be tag team eating on this. Deep, deep fried shallots. <laughs> And so right here is where the struggle starts. I'm uh, not gonna tell you the outcome, everybody, but hey, I'll let you tune in. Definitely some difficulty coming here, and uh, let's see what happens. I don't know, guys, maybe, uh, maybe this thing gets the better of me. Are you happy right now? Healthy right now? Uh, no comment. Are you hungry right now? No. <laughs> <laughs>
We're done. Somewhere about 12 minutes. 11 50, 12 minutes, somewhere like that. Uh, that was an interesting challenge. A lot of cheese. Um, very interesting. But well, thanks to the Windsor Pub for offering this challenge. Thanks to my friends, Mr. George and Brian, being here with me. Support me. And everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Definitely, like I said, very interesting challenge. A bit bigger than I expected, but it all, it all worked out. So, without me getting a meal for free, pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so that's about it. Hope you enjoyed and you know what to do. Happy.